A curved array transducer with a nerve exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided sciatic nerve block. The target depth is approximately 4 to 6 centimeters in an 80 kilogram adult. The patient is positioned in a lateral decupitus position with the hip and knee flexed. The transducer is placed between the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity in a transverse position, just proximal to the gluteal fold, with the orientation marker directed laterally. The bony landmarks will appear as bright, hyperechoic crescents with posterior shadowing. There are several layers of tissue between the bony landmarks which should be identified from superficial to deep, including adipose tissue, the gluteus maximus muscle, and quadratus femoris muscle. The sciatic nerve lies deep to the gluteus maximus and superficial to the quadratus femoris muscle. It appears as a bright, hyperechoic oval or triangular-shaped density. The transducer should be moved slightly cranially or caudally from the initial position by slightly rocking the transducer so the beam is perpendicular to the nerve for the best echo reflection if it is difficult to identify. When the transducer is moved distally in the thigh, the sciatic nerve becomes more oval in shape and is found more superficially between the biceps femoris and abductor magnus muscles. The needle is advanced using an in-plane technique. The needle is positioned 1 to 2 centimeters lateral to the transducer and advanced slowly under the transducer. The initial end point for the needle is just lateral and deep to the nerve. The local anesthetic is injected incrementally close to the nerve. For a successful block, a spread of local should be observed around the medial side or tibial component of the nerve. 